Hi, this is a recording to show you how to apply factor theorem to solve a polynomial equation. Our problem is find all the real solutions of the equation x cubed plus x squared minus 17x plus 15 equal to 0. I'm going to apply factor theorem. What is factor theorem? This is found in the appendix C of Harvard Anton text. A polynomial P of X has a factor X minus C if and only if P of C is equal to zero. Now this theorem can be said in different ways. For example, X minus C is a factor of PX, P of C equal to zero, C is a zero of px, C is a root of the equation px equal to zero, C is a solution of the equation px equal to zero, C is an x-intercept of y equal px, it all means the same thing. How to apply this? By let px equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 17x plus 15. So I just made a guess. Let's say p of 1, this is equal to 1 cube plus 1 square minus 17 times 1 plus 15 and this end up equal to 0 so you put x equal to 1 you get p1 equal to 0 therefore by factor theorem x minus 1 is a factor of px that means px is equal to x minus 1 times another quotient qx. How do we find this quotient? You can do a long division. So px is x cubed plus x squared minus 70x plus 15 is equal to x minus 1 times qx. So let's do a long division here. So I have x cubed plus x squared minus 17x plus 15 and I'm going to divide this by x minus 1 so multiply by x square I get x times x square get x cubed minus 1 times x square get minus x square subtract now I get 2x square minus 17x plus 15 now multiply x minus 1 by 2x I get 2x times x, I get 2x squared. Minus 1 times 2x, I get minus 2x. Subtract, I get minus 15x plus 15. Multiply x minus 1 by minus 15. Then I get minus 15x plus 15. Subtract, and you get 0. You're supposed to get remainder 0. So, where is my qx now? So, qx will be this and remainder is zero so that means that px is equal to x minus 1 times x square plus 2x minus 15 Okay. Now, x squared plus 2x minus 15 is easily factorized as x plus 5 x minus 3 therefore px is equal to 0 when x equal to 1, x equal to minus 5, x equal to 3. So the real solution of px equal to 0 is or are x equal to 1, minus 5, and 3. That is the end of the solution.